Hello and welcome to Bad Boy Cinema. I'm your host, Rick Reel, and with me is special guest, Detective Roswell. <laughs> How are I you doing? Detective. Um, I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Uh, Long time listener, first time caller. Happy to be here. <laughs> Uh, it's good. It's good to have somebody back in the uh, back in the studio with me. Um, so it doesn't feel like a big echo chamber. <laughs> an echo Keep chamber of insane. all my good, correct opinions about Inception, which uh, <laughs> some people disagreed with in the well, Discord. We'll get into that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> you're going to use your platform as a as a uh, yes, a polemic against you. Yeah, Ooh, I shouldn't nah. have invited you on. <laughs> So class. I guess this week, just to, to, I mean, in case people are auto listening. Also, I would like to apologize. Last week I had COVID, uh, so there was no episode. It wasn't because I did three and then got bored of doing solo episodes. That's not the reason why. It's because I, I had COVID. Um, <laughs> but we're back this week uh, with Deadpool and Wolverine, I believe directed by, <laughs> I, I should have looked this up. Uh, I believe it was oh, directed by Sean, Sean L. L. Right? Our good friend Sean L. Good. What has Sean L done? Because you know, I'll be honest. Yeah. Just I enjoyed the movie, Panther. but I would say the directing of the movie is not necessarily no good. He, no, he's done a lot of stuff like Night at the Museum. He did. Um, he did Night at the Museum. He did. He did uh, Pink Panther, Big Fat Liar, which was mentioned uh, on this <laughs> respectable cast. He looks like he should uh, be British. Oh, he he, did, he did do big fat. I can't believe this is his. Oh, he did. He yeah. did real steel, which is a great. Movie. I was about to say the Rock'em Sock'em movie and Dayton. OK, so he's got some. He's got some good ones. He's got some good ones. I was expecting this guy to be like kind of a loser based on. Oh, he did free guy. <laughs> and <laughs> and the Adam Project. I can't explain why him dig free guy is funny to me. It wouldn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, a Quebecois man. Hmm. Wow, I what a, I like that. This guy did. I can't believe. I can't believe we did Big Fat Liar on this show. And I was just yeah, like, yeah, whatever. I was too busy that because Dan S was involved with Big Fat Liar, so I was kind of zeroed in. It on was this. more important. Definitely yeah. no yeah, presence of, of 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 Dan S on on uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, which is that we know good. Of. Oh, let me. I have I have my notes, uh, oh, which are notes. They look <laughs> comprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, Matt, Matt said he liked having the, the foley of the of the notes. Yeah. Uh, and I it usually do take exciting. notes, but I forgot because I went to the uh, actual theater with my girlfriend <laughs> and I wasn't like going to um, take notes while no. I was. <laughs> I did the exact same thing. So I totally understand. I've just got the Wikipedia pulled up to refresh me on the plot. So, yeah. I, I you know, because we, we briefly mentioned I, I was like, hey, you know, I think I'm either going to really hate this movie because it seems like a movie, and in some ways is, but in some ways it's not. It seems like a movie that is very much meant for Marvel nerds <laughs> to point at the screen and go, oh, hey, it's that guy for like two yeah. hours. And there is some I of was, that. I will agree with you that it does seem like a movie, and that's where I will, I will stop agreeing <laughs> with you. <laughs> it, well, is it a movie? That's kind of that's what a we question. discuss on Bad Boy Cinema. Is it a movie? Yeah, that's right. Nice to say. Um, now, what's the runtime here? 128 minutes. Uh, it did feel a little Too poorly long. paced at 128 it did feel a little absolutely. longer than that absolutely um <clears throat> with that being said i thought i was gonna probably hate it because of you know it being kind of a reference fest but i think you know at for a comic book marvel movie right like not this isn't in this i gave it a two and a half and a like on letterbox so this is not saying it's great <clears throat> cinema because it's not but as a stupid mm -hmm. comic book movie i had fun with it i found it funny uh, and, and at some points I thought it was sweet and um, I guess spoiler warning for Deadpool and Wolverine going forward, because I don't think there's a way to really talk about um, some of what the film does without like spoiling cameos, which is stupid, like who cares, but also like it's some of some of it was nice for me. I don't know. Um, I think as a movie, it, it sort of does this like nice tribute to the the Marvel movies of 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 the past of that didn't that, that that of, of yesteryear that didn't that is the dumbest sentence you've ever said no i know i know it's it's cringy and stupid but i think it's there so is so <laughs> right uh <laughs> elliot would not have 
let this movie even be on the list of things to talk about. But and maybe this will have the most so. clicks of anything that we've done. So, right. you know, who's to say who's got good ideas? Um, <laughs> I'm, but, I'm with him on this. I'm with hypothetical Elliot on this. The straw man that you've could. <laughs> <on this side. laughs> it's just like, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's sweet that those movies that are did not make it into the MCU, like Deadpool clearly is in it now to talk about the like sure. the, the over and i it's in the canon it's in the canon i think it's nice as the the movie sort of says farewell to those movies that didn't make the cut i think that's a sweet idea and i think there's these little like morsels of a redemption story they're barely there but they did enough you know what i mean I disagree. You disagree. Okay. I mean, did you I think it was funny? Was... Like I, you, you I saw, I saw your half star on, on Letterboxd. Yeah. I know you didn't care. I for thought it was movie. vain, vapid, morally bankrupt, cynically made, not funny enough for the two hour runtime. Two hours I could have spent reading <laughs> or doing something, <laughs> you know, soul enriching. It was, I was furious leaving the, uh, really? not furious. Furious is not the right word. I wasn't angry. I was just, it was just such a waste of my time. Now I have to, I will say, I'm not a huge MCU guy. I never have been. I've popped in and out of things that like, I was like, okay, you know, I watched uh, the Avengers, most of them, especially like Endgame and uh, yeah. the other one. And, um, and I, I watched everything Spider-Man because I love Spider-Man, but I just don't, I'm not really, yeah, you're not, you're not like MCU a comic guy. book. No. Yeah. Um, so I didn't have a lot of coming in as a complete outsider or a mostly outsider. I didn't have a lot of to like uh, relate to. So it was like really um, confusing at parts for me. <laughs> and in some cases it just seemed so like, it seemed like a Saturday m morning cartoon for like men who never grew up or got girlfriends. Well, and at least I'm only I have saying, a girlfriend, so that's not me. <laughs> aside from you, hey, you gave it two and a half stars. So I'm talking about the people who like love this. Right. Film. Yeah. I mean like for, I think yeah. for what it was and like, Having watched sure. most of the post Endgame Marvel movies, on the whole, I don't really like any of them. Yeah, I think I only watched. Like, uh, I like this more than Spider Man No Way Home, which I thought was largely. Which one was No Way Home? That was the one with um, the was other two. The, with the three. Yeah, I did like. I love Spider Man, but I liked this more than that. But I didn't like that. So <laughs> right, yeah. But I'm, like, I didn't like. I think watching I it, I was like, "Oh, this is cool. It's cool seeing the old Spider-Man again. Yeah. That's nice." Like, you know, yeah. As sure. a kid, I'm fucking 31. You know, it was nice seeing those guys yeah. again. Sure. Yeah, um, for sure. This one, it it's similar to that, but it felt like the the references, like the the main ones, which I guess to spoil the spoil get. Sure. I, I yeah, hate I hate saying that. You know what I mean? Who cares? Everybody's seen it. <laughs> made Everyone, everyone's seen it. Um, yeah. But I also just hate the idea of like spoilers mattering. But like I also don't want anybody like sending us an email being like, hey, yeah. you exactly. spoiled this really epic joke from Deadpool yeah. and Wolverine. Like, fuck I off. I don't know what I expected yeah. listening to your movie review podcast yeah. <laughs> that you wouldn't talk about the particulars of the movie. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like seeing Blade was cool yeah. like i thought i thought that was nice like it didn't feel like a reference just to be like blades here it was like oh like blade isn't gonna get well he, he might get MCU? maybe what maybe we'll get a, a blade reboot oh but this blade we want yeah yeah, yeah. and i think gotcha. that's nice that was what was that wesley snipes yeah that, okay so that's like from like way back that's when. from way and back then, when like i thought that I was think... that was sweet you know what i mean like gotcha. there's it, there's a sweetness and i like i think ryan Re reynolds <laughs> is annoying I don't think he's that funny, um, and I don't think he's a think good he's, actor. He's definitely not a good actor. I think he's funny elsewhere. Like I think he's charismatic and kind of likable. I was so no. I think he is likable. In this movie. Yeah, I don't think he's. I don't think he's. He, he's yeah. he's annoying. Like the other people in the movie are typically funnier. Yeah, I thought – so this movie just made me really appreciate Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's every, great. Like, serious moment with Hugh Jackman, I was like, oh, what an actor. He's chewing the scenery but in the best way possible. Like he was he was bought far and ahead the most interesting person on the screen any time he was there. And he was, in my opinion, the most underutilized. I To me, I'm like, if you're going to show me a Deadpool Wolverine movie, make it all about Deadpool Wolverine. I don't care about all these – 
dorky weirdos in stupid costumes <laughs> who have nothing. I know the people who this is made for do care about that, yeah. <laughs> but me as just a random guy strolling in on a Saturday. Ugh. I see. I don't ugh. think I don't think it did pay that much attention to them, really. Like I think it was like it had those references, but there was like, hey, this is a, a nod to those movies that aren't gonna. Sure, but if you don't again. know who these people are, you're like, what's happening? Right, For like I think the whole movie straight. is an interesting-ish like meta comment. Like I don't like meta, but I think the way that the movie does a <laughs> meta commentary on like the MCU and its history. Like I do think the construction and the sort of way the MCU has been made is interesting, even if I think the MCU is kind of dumb and lame. You know what I mean? Yeah, it felt masturbatory to me. Like a big pat on the back for a bunch of bankrupt art. See, it felt like it was kind of taking the piss a little bit from the MCU. And well, yeah, but at the same time, it did the same thing that all MCU movies did, where like it's it's jokey, it's jokey, and then they'd be like, "But now here's the heart. Here's how we really feel." Deadpool has spent the entire movie murdering people, getting Johnny Storm brutally killed, which was funny. He wants to. He, it was funny, but then it's like, oh, but we we actually care about him saving his four friends in a timeline that's going to end. Like, are you kidding me? It doesn't – it's such a tonal shift. It was – that kind of stuff Have really just drives me insane. Have you seen the other Deadpool insane. movies? No. Uh, well, that's kind of kind of how they, they are, you know? And sure. I think it, it – like I, I didn't Fair see enough. the first Deadpool movie, but I, I genuinely am fond of Deadpool 2. I don't really yeah. know why, because I don't think I should like it as much as I do, but I I, I do well, like it. Well, there's no should or shouldn't, right? Right, sure. But, like, you, you know you what I mean. Like, like I, I typically but, don't – like, I hate Guardians of the Galaxy, too. I think that movie sucks ass. And Deadpool does a lot of similar things as a franchise to that movie that I don't like, but the way that Deadpool does it, I'm okay with. Is Guardians with. of the Galaxy 2 the one where Kurt Russell is a planet or yeah. something? Okay. I, I don't like that one. I was fine. I like the first one. I like the first one. I like the third one. I do not like the second one at all. There's a uh, third one. There's a third one. It came out like oh, last year. I missed that it. one's pretty good. If you like rocket, I Rack, did you know. see Doctor Strange though. D- and that's, dude, uh... Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was fucking terrible. Like, <laughs> it was so bad. I was talking about this to somebody at work, but like the rep, like because you know, like a uh, fucking Jim from The Office and uh, Patrick Stewart. Oh, yeah, he played Ryan Re- or Reed Richards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those oh. references in the Multiverse of Madness felt like people – that's for people pointing and going, oh, hey, it's that guy. But then yeah. like Channing Tatum shows up at Gambit and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, this rules. <laughs> was Channing Tatum Gambit? In, he, real, in, in that movie, he movie? was. Now, Channing Tatum was supposed to be Gambit. And I didn't know this going into the movie, but I just okay. – apparently – he was supposed to be Gambit and like kept trying to make it happen and it just never did. And so Ryan Reynolds was like, hey, like you can be Gambit in our Deadpool movie if you want to. Like and you can I know you're trying to do that. Like I'll you can be in it. Ironically, like, now he'll probably get like a Gambit movie. No, I think I mean, and I think it would be great because <laughs> I loved how unintelligible he was. It was really funny. I, I couldn't understand a word he said. I, I mean, like, I do like Channing Tatum. He's he's he does he's, good job. he's funny. He's and he's been doing yeah. great just popping up in random like kind of bad movies and just being he's like, a good comedic actor. He is. And I think honestly, hot take. I think he's a better comedic actor than Ryan Reynolds. I agree. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I think Channing Tatum's very funny. Around, he's but... like he's like better. He's like a better John Cena, for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he's John Cena for people without Down syndrome. Hey, Ricky Stenicki is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. Uh, you got it's next <laughs> next movie night. You got to pop in Ricky Stenicki. Pop on Ricky Stenicki, yeah. and then put on like because there, there's an episode of The Bear. Um, where John Cena's in it as well. And there's like a weird, like kind of continuity half reference huh. where I was like, that line, are they referencing Ricky Stenicki in the fucking bear? Like Ricky what Stenicki the fuck? Like in the bear universe. Cause he's there for one episode and they make reference to a duck that he's like, has to go get a duck. I'm like, he had to go get, there was a duck in Ricky <laughs> Stenicki. Was that, that was there's never the been poster. a duck in any other media. So that's understandable. That's interesting. I don't need to watch Ricky Stenicki because I listened to the Bad Boy Crimes episode of it. Viewers, <laughs> Bad Boy go ahead and listen. Well, yeah. Oops. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Bad about. Boy you're, yeah. uh, what you are talking about is the the uh, w- the what if scenario that I did a, a couple episodes yes. back, where I was like, "What if this is a true crime podcast?" 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> An alternate timeline where something like that could happen. And I, I went out of my way to make a theme song for it and everything. <laughs> that's really, that's a good bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I came out a little too strong against this, but I did not have a good time. No, and that's fine. No. I, I think you know, it's an it's an interesting conversation to have. But you know, I think my my I guess sort of what I was talking about with with Ryan Ryan R is that oh, I yeah. think he's he seems like a a decent guy to be friends with, For and sure. he seems like a good producer. And yeah. that he like gives a sh- like he does seem like he gives a shit and it felt like for sure the parts of the movie like kind of once you understand like the Channing Tatum thing right like I just first thought it was funny that Channing Tatum was doing a fucking Cajun accent and <laughs> I thought that was silly I was like oh that's a, this is a 22 jump street uh, my name is Jeff reference yeah. like that's yeah, exactly. clearly what was going on like I'm an idiot but you know once you well, once you I know mean, all that stuff it's like oh like I think he's being like somewhat kind hearted and like trying to He's definitely invested in like the characters because I saw him say he wanted to be Deadpool for for like ever. Yeah, so it does seem like he genuinely is interested in the uh, in the story or whatever. Or just which you know that's cool. The, the, the idea. I just don't think he's a strong enough leading man. But you know who would be a strong enough leading man <laughs> for a movie like this? This old Leo DiCaprio. Who would you make Leo Deadpool? <laughs> I would love to see what Leo would do with Deadpool. Leo pool. That would have been Leo that would have been a good here. that would have been a good cameo, you know. Yeah, if he was just one of the Deadpool's with was Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> that would have been sick. Oh man, what did you think about the the nice guy Deadpool? I yeah, I didn't like. I didn't, I didn't like think that. that was funny. <laughs> it wasn't funny. It just felt mean. If it was like. I guess because it had to have Ryan interact with himself and I don't really find either of them super funny. So it's just kind of like, sure, yeah. I'm like, hey, you know, like, let's get I mean? like Wolverine can talk to this guy and I'll be half interested or have Wolverine talk to anyone else. Yeah, that's that's what it ultimately gets back to is like, I really like, um, well, yeah, obviously I like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Everybody does. Yeah, like He's just course. great. And he's going to be amazing. No, and you know, even if I'm not a huge fan of Ryan Reynolds, if, if the movie was just like just about them, and was like a tr- not a Marvel type of pacing and setup where it's like a million different things and references and digressions, but rather like just a traditional movie setup where we've got these two characters and they've got to do something, and the majority of the movie is them interacting with each other. I think I would have liked that a lot more because Hugh Jackman. I I agree. I, I think there's definitely more of a more of a movie there for sure. Yeah. I, I would have liked that too. And maybe, you know, God forbid we get another one of these. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Deadpool and Wolverine too. Oh, after this, definitely. I Espe- mean, it's been so cause this is doing very well. Um, I think in, in the it's box office. In the box. Yeah. It's, in yeah. The yeah. Box. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's already made what? $824 million with a budget. Yeah. So four million. times its budget. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which again, I think Ryan Reynolds, he, he knows how to, yeah, he's a good businessman. He knows what he's doing. Not acting, but you know, with other stuff. (laughs) Um, well, he's just good, just good enough to act. (laughs) It's not that he's bad. You know what I mean? He's he's just good. He's fine. Like he's, he's there, but I think his talents are like in being like a, a, producer. Like I would trust him to produce something. If his name was, I'm a producer on this thing. I'd be like, Someone gives a shit on this project, so like I'll check it out. I don't know. Someone throw Kevin Feige down a well and let Ryan Reynolds do all the producing. That's all I want. I mean, honestly, I think he could like if he gets to direct one of these one day, I wouldn't I wouldn't be against yeah. it. My main problem is that none of these Marvel movies to me look like movies. They just feel like big adult cartoons and they're just so it's the same sensory experience as like walking into a really big supermarket where there's just too many clashing colors and it's too bright and it's like <laughs> it's just it just sucks. The lighting's bad. Some some coconut shit. Like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It did it and this this may be a bad anecdote to tell, but in the theater I was in, it was just like me, uh, my lady, and then 
a smattering of like mid twenties to like early forties men. Mm, no, and, it's like, not a, every that's joke. Even like the not funny ones, they were like laughing and clapping like seals. <sighs> yeah. I felt so disconnected to my humanity in that moment. Yeah, that I think that would have made me hate the movie, honestly, because we saw it in a theater that was like kind of dead. Because we found a theater that nobody goes to. And it's like sure, yeah. It's great. Like six bucks for a refillable soda and a popcorn and like super reclining seats. Like it's yeah. fantastic. And I'm not going to name it because awesome. I don't want other people going. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Love it. And so for that, it was like basically like, you know, no one was really close to like there, there wasn't your situation where there's like, you know, gross adult male Marvel fans just doing their <laughs> thing and uh, being terrible. So um, yeah. That would have, that absolutely would have ruined the experience of the movie. Um, I gotta ask, did you ever see Logan? No, <laughs> I didn't. Dude, yeah. Why did you see this movie? <laughs> uh, I it was not my plan to see it. I yeah. went with my lady and some of her family who wanted to go. Uh, um, maybe I and should, neither should have had them on the podcast. <laughs> I know. Yeah, <laughs> have them defend themselves. Um, I think she liked Logan, but she also didn't like this one really either. Because I, yeah, we, I'm, a, I'm a certified Logan enjoyer, and I kind of like like it, it's good. It's it's a good one. If you had to watch, I will say, a Marvel. I did appreciate that they, um, the first scene was him, uh, you know, after because I know I know from Osmosis that Logan was supposed to be them retiring Hugh Jackman as Logan, retiring the character, and it was yeah. supposed to be nice. And it's like ah, finally Marvel's done beating a dead horse and then of course they bring him back for this which is very you know i'm sure to some of the fans of this type of thing sacrilegious so i did think it was funny that the first scene was him digging up his corpse and (laughs) desecrating his grave um which i thought that's a pretty good mission statement for this but like to me i'm like even if you joke about it it still doesn't change the fact like to me that this is just such a it's such a commercial and it's such a commercial product project. I mean, another example is like when they're in the, uh, you know, when they're in Jerusalem or wherever they were in the desert um, and the 20th century Fox logo was half buried. Yeah. Um, and I, I had, I, it was again, a bunch of people like clapping at that. And I'm like, you're clapping at logos. Like it's literally just like jingling keys in front of a baby. Yeah, that, for I'm me, like, that got like, like an exhale. Brand. You know, I was like, huh, you know, like, yeah, yeah okay. I get it. You know? Um, I guess I forgot. Like I, I had to like look up that uh, X Men was with 20th Century, but even still, so was, it's like, so, okay. but so was Deadpool before, right? Because he was in the. I actually saw that. The was that Wolverine uh, X or whatever. Yeah, the like the uh, Origins one or whatever. X Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's got like pa- he's got like patches on his mouth or something. Awful stitches. Deadpool. I mean, but like no, Not the great. Deadpool See, movies too were also Fox. Um, Oh really? Yeah. So this was yeah. and this was like kind of the big going into the MCU sort of again like the meta gotcha. narrative and like I think the the way that all the Disney buying shit and all these properties I think that's like I think it's interesting from like a business perspective obviously like from an art perspective who cares and like it's very probably bad. Sure. Um but you know from a business it's perspective it's interesting. Bad for humanity. Sorry, what was that? I said it's definitely bad for humanity. Oh yeah, no, for sure, for sure. This movie is is a sign of of worse things to come. But uh, you know, it did make me want to do political violence against Disney. Not that I would. Not that in, in Minecraft, Minecraft, maybe, but you know, <laughs> perhaps in Minecraft. Minecraft. Maybe in Minecraft. I gotta, I gotta get a Minecraft server cooking again. I've been, I know. I've been jonesing for some Minecraft. <laughs> Honestly, that might be a vibe for the Discord. That, I think that would be good. I think we could we could build something. We've still got several autistic people in the in the yeah. chat. We could get them in. Yeah, get yeah, get it. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll get a Minecraft server. I, I mean, because I used to do Minecraft Realms, uh, where you just pay exactly. you just pay Mojang to like run a server for you. Oh, but gotcha. you but you get like you get their server capacity and like all their shit. So it's like. So it's smoother sailing. It's smoother. It's it's super easy to get like to just pop on one and like yeah it it runs yeah. better than you don't like, have to maintain a server. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that would be dope. I haven't played Minecraft since 2013. So. Oh, dude, you got oh you got to get on some some new Minecraft. <sighs> we'll see what happens. We'll see. What was the name of the big? Ba- was his name Scotch or something? Who was the guy? <laughs> the fedora guy. Who? The Minecraft guy. Scott Notch, Scott Scott Notch. There you yeah. go. 
Is he still around? Not with not with Minecraft. No, he sold it and then like I guess has bad politics. So everyone just pretends he didn't. Well, make he doesn't it. have bad politics. Yeah, I think I think like it's kind of like a J.K. Like Rowling that. situation. But like, oh okay, he just like hates trans people. For Probably, no I think he hates other people too. But yeah, I think he's trans. Yeah. Well, know. isn't he like a dirty Swede? Yeah. So he he he's yeah, got to so be a bad can't... guy. Yeah. Yeah. They should put him in this movie and then killed him off. <laughs> that would have been great. No, I, I did like that the movie was like a soft sequel to uh, Logan, only because I liked uh, I liked the uh, X twenty three, the Laura, the girl, the girl. Wolverine. Oh, the little twelve year old with the fangs, or not fangs, but with the claws. And she, but she's like you know, aged up on this one because she's like it's the future. I don't she know. grew up. She grew up yeah. through the passage of time. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I, I like I like I was like oh I'm glad she's back and is at the end of the movie included in the you know the lineup the lineup of the dead pool people yeah. so i'm like maybe yeah along with big al or blind al, blind or, al. <laughs> yeah um i didn't like that fucking dog didn't like the deadpool dog uh my, my lady loved the dog mm. but know. that makes sense yeah that makes sense. Yeah, I, I was I was ambivalent towards the dog. You're like you're like get me out of this theater. This fucking sucks. <laughs> I was like, please kill him. Yeah, there was a moment where she turned and she turned to me and she said, "Are you bored?" And I said, "Yes." <laughs> and she said, "You can go." And I said, "No." I think the, you know, other than like I guess I was I liked. I'm a sucker for a little redemption story and I'm, I'm a sucker for a poor little meow meow and they did just enough. So I was like, Wolverine's <laughs> kind of a poor little meow meow. I'm locked in. Um, he is kind of, of course you, of course you identify with with worst wolverine <laughs> yeah i'm like oh he's the shittiest one damn he's just like me for real he's just like me for real even being the worst one he still rocks though because he's wolverine yeah they should have had a ryan gosling wolverine that would have been ah oh, that might have been dope that, i did and like then, the and then leo is deadpool now that See, would have been this a movie. Is, this is a movie. <laughs> this is a. That's what we're talking about. No, it's Leo's in the Deadpool costume, but it's still Ryan Reynolds doing the. It's voice. his voice. Yeah. <laughs> so we only know that it's Leo in the few times where he takes off his mask, but he's still under heavy prosthetics, <laughs> and you just see that his like because he's not like in shape anymore. You know what I mean? So it's no, just like Leo's kind of like out of shape. Like he's yeah, like still chubby. He's yeah. like forty something. Yeah, like Bob. Yeah. yeah. That, that's a good Deadpool. that's a good deadpool <laughs> no leo should have been peter pool he has the perfect body type for peter pool yeah well it, P, i didn't i don't get i didn't get peter i mean like i didn't get no, him in the second it. movie either i was just like i don't i don't oh, he's in the second movie yeah oh i i just thought the joke was like and here's a random guy no it, i mean he was as a non so in the second movie deadpool is like assembling like a team to do something and like people okay. are auditioning to be in the team. And so Peter's one of those guys and uh, most of them die. And I think Peter eventually dies too. And then like at the end of the second movie, Deadpool uses time travel to just like fix a bunch of shit. So he brings Peter back. He brings his girlfriend back. Um, Marina Bakarin. The girlfriend. Yes. Yes. I just like her because she's cute. <laughs> She was in Firefly. Was she? And that was huge. That was huge for me growing up. I, that should have been a show where I was like, "Yeah, that's good," but um, I never watched it. But it would be the kind of thing where I was like, "Yeah, yeah, it's good." Wait, it's, I mean, it, I, she was in it's always oh uh, in the unaired. She was in the unaired pilot of It's Always Sunny. Okay, playing oh, Carmen before Carmen was played by who? I was like, "Is she Carmen from It's Always Sunny?" That's crazy. That's not true. Oh, his character's name was Peter Wisdom. Yeah, but he was dressed up as a Deadpool, so he's you know, Peter Pool. Um, I think it's all, if now that I know that it's less funny. It was funnier him just being a random unexplained man to me. He was so, again. Like, he was still was like joke. a random unexplained man who's just like, yeah, uh, I want to okay. be on the superhero team. I'm just a regular guy. Sure. And I want to kill people, and it's like, whoa. And he like does yeah. kind of the best of the people who immediately die. You know, um, and then I guess Deadpool liked uh, so, so it's much. It's one of those cynical superhero movies where it's like, look at all these superheroes, and now they're all dead. It's like, uh, wasn't that what Suicide Squad was? I didn't. The see second it. one, I'm the, just the like Suicide Squad, yeah, where they had the like original cast basically just murdered immediately. 
and Pete Davidson that for rocks. some reason. Well, why wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm sure. But they killed off Captain Kangaroo or Boomerang or whatever the fuck his name was. And <laughs> uh, there was a guy. Yeah, there was. Yeah, like, yeah, like the Boomerang guy from the first Suicide, just Suicide Squad, not the. He was all right. He kind of carried the movie. Yeah. He was pretty chill. And then they had him in the second one. And I was like, oh, he's cool. I like him. And then they kill him off in that opening sequence along with Pete Davidson. I was like, you should have let well, him live. Like, he was, let he was him all right. I mean, come on. Did you just fall out of the coconut tree? What do you think? We exist <laughs> within the context <laughs> of all in which we live and what came before us. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I think maybe... I don't know if I would have enjoyed it more if I had um, the like if I understood all the references or if I would have hated it more. It's hard to say with me, but as someone who just came in completely unaware, is it, it's virtually unintelligible. Yeah, in my opinion. That's and that's yeah. fair. Um, I think because I'm not again. I'm I might sound like it on this episode of the podcast, but I'm not like a huge like I don't. I'll watch the MCU movies and I kind of have kept sure. up with most of them. I haven't seen all of them, but you know most of them. Um, right but i'm not like a comic book guy i don't you know you're moderate in this debate yeah i'm very i'm very uh, enlightened centrist which i think is actually the best kind of person to be for this sort of movie because it's like i get enough of the references but i'm not bogged yeah. down by the sheer weight of them so it's like i'm not sure. left out in the cold like you and you're are. not like super invested in the lore of something that ultimately does not matter at all yeah and i'm and i don't care if they get it wrong Right. Like some people yeah, like on I mean. Instagram, like Instagram reels, there's a lot of memes with Channing Tatum's Gambit, which I all think are very funny because I, I just I, I think he, the way he talks, I just think Cajun people are silly. People from Louisiana, yeah. they're funny. I don't like <laughs> laughing at them. That is a wild <laughs> take. Please let me off this podcast. <laughs> no, I know what you – I think what it is is bad accents are funny. And like seeing Channing Tatum do an accent that's so different from what he is is funny. And it's also a delightful accent. Like he's, so like that combination of things makes it funny. Like I, I think he's both doing a good job and being silly on purpose. Absolutely. Like, like he's uh what's the term? Exaggerating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, like I think he could actually do the accent and take it sort of seriously if he like toned it down a little sure. bit. Like I think he could do that just fine. But I was like, yeah, Gambit, Channing Tatum, great. That was a good part of the movie. I, I thought that was funny. Yeah. That was cool. And then everyone on Instagram was like, Man, Channing Tatum sucked. I was like <laughs> Really? Like they're like, That's Man, it, he was so bad at Gambit, I didn't understand a word he said. I was like, that was the fucking point, dude. Yeah. Well, you can't expect anyone on the internet to understand basic things. It's you know what I mean. Like it, people don't understand jokes anymore. Nobody has object permanence. It feels like like I don't know <laughs> people. People just can't come. The comprehension of what's happening on the screen and in the world is insane. They they do not. They they just fell out of a coconut tree. I guess I don't know. <laughs> they might have. They don't. They don't understand that they exist in the context. No, in which they exist. And all that came before them. So, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I used to think like people on the internet were like bad and dumb, you know, but like just the normal bad sure. and dumb. And unlike right. me, a very smart person. An enlightened and, individual. And the enlightened centrist that I am. And, uh, <laughs> but I'm coke. I am coconut pilled. So don't cancel me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Uh, yeah, some people would cancel me for being coconut pilled. Yeah, that's the that's the where we're at right now. You're gonna get canceled no matter what. Yeah, so. well, that's uh, that's why I'm. So but it is a heel time. turn. It is a heel turn from your previous um, characters that you've played. <laughs> a heel in turn. terms of your politics. Well, I mean, the last thing you got canceled for publicly was not very coconut pilled. We'll have Twitter. to talk Wait, off Twitter. mic about which one that you know was. what I'm talking about. The actual canceling. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. On Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I was still yeah. right about that. No, you were. That's the worst part. Yeah, was, look, some people. I'm not going to say what kind of people, but some kinds of people <laughs> like to go on Twitter and Cajuns. look things up and try mm -hmm. and just start fights even with people who it's true are correct about things. Um, but anyway, 
uh, I used to think I was, you know, people were dumb and I'm very smart. And then you get into short right. form content and you either see what the content is or you read the goddamn comments and you're like, yeah. oh, this is a whole different group of terrible people N- right, that are exactly. so stupid. I mean, you know, because I send you just like the worst shit I can find on a daily <laughs> yes, basis. You know. And it ruins my brain on a daily basis. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, um, it's crazy. Well, and part of me wonders too if like some of it is just for engagement, people like being obviously dupes. Well, right, which, which is, is why like, now I've I've started screenshotting the ones where I'm like, I don't want to support this, but I'll screenshot it, post sure. it in the Discord, and be like, I know this is what's bait, happening but here. Like, yeah, right. And then I, I think there there's just a mix of like you know obviously like children who. Like I love children and they're very smart. That's maybe I shouldn't say. Yeah, like that. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate children, but they're like you know, know they're fair. dumb. I don't know. Well, I'm just trying to. I'm not. Gonna children like are fine, and you're not going to do anything about it. I'm not going to do anything about it. But like you know, children's a. Well, like, what's that famous tweet of like like I'm one click away from like seeing an a fourteen year old's opinion on it anything? Yeah, on Twitter, right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's a crime. Like that is so true. Where it's like. Like there's just some kid who's like, oh, this is what I think about Wolverine, and I'm like, it's you should go back inside. What's wrong? With Can you, you like, you you had you, you were in down. school during COVID. Yep. You should redo mm-hmm. those years before exactly. you post anything. I know. Yeah. I guess that is kind like of the that. part of the problem, isn't it? Right? Because we're now just getting like COVID kids. COVID kids. And also all the bot accounts. You can. There's like so the much Russians, of that stuff you now. Know. The dang Russians, the Ruskies. Yeah, the comrades are hitting, hitting it hard. But it's like, I don't know, it's like one of those things where you don't know how much is like real people or like real adults, you know, having it. Because most normal people who like you and me aren't as t- yeah, terminal. Normal people. I like it. <laughs> Both of us. Okay, we're, we're the bridge between normal people and these online people, We're, we're right? tastefully we're like, a little weird, you know? like We're tastefully, yeah. yeah. But, like, people we know who are, like, fully normal, like, d- this isn't even a... They don't engage with this stuff. Like, they see Deadpool, they have an opinion on it, maybe they text their friend, and then... They're like, oh, gone. it was good. Like, I I mean, honestly, which is kind of my opinion on it, it was like, it, it was good. Like, I'm the one with the like, podcast oh, trying fair. to be like, this is a soul full you know tribute to the, sure. the <laughs> marvel movies of yesteryear yeah, exactly. didn't make it you know and you've got like your bookshelf with like all your in package toys of the different marvel they're not movies. in packaged they're out of the box <laughs> and they're not oh marvel no i toys. was saying in this scenario I oh no i thought you were literally making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's not marvel stuff that's all that's nintendo that's it's fine it. yeah that's fine but I, I was thinking of that very specific podcast where it's like those four white guys with those four sure microphones and they're sitting in front of that set. And they all have like, like graphic like, tees of different. They've all got a pre-faded Captain America t-shirt they got from Target. And they're all like, oh, just the MCU is so soulful. Yeah, like exactly what you were saying. Like, Welcome like, to Reasonable Beef. No. Uh, yeah, reasonable Beef. I haven't yeah. done that in a while. <laughs> that's for no one. Yeah, that's for, but Matt. That's for Elliot. He's not listening. Um, I know. Wherever he is. Rest in peace. We miss you. Um, yeah i don't know man i i think it's one of those things where we've gotten to the point where it's like hard to disentangle like that annoying culture from these movies because they're so like self-feeding at this point they they are but it's like i don't know of the ones i've seen you know i think guardians 3 was pretty okay and it felt like somebody gave a shit while they were working on it you know, sure. and I think honestly, people will may this might be a hot take, but I think the Eternals was pretty all right. Like I think it's pretty good. I'd rewatch it. But like multiverse people like um uh, what's his name? Um Sam Raimi. Yeah. Yeah. They they like him. And I think people were like, Yeah, Doctor Strange, Doctor Stephen Strange in the multiverse of madness. That's gonna be great. Or maybe people like it because of 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 Sam Raimi, Sam R. Sure, um, but Sam R. Friend of the cast. Shitty, shitty movie in my opinion. <clears throat> and like, I think that movie yeah, was kind of soulless. You know, I think it was. Black Panther two kind of was soulless. You know, I didn't see the Marvels. I, I haven't heard anything about it at all. Which one was the Marvels? Uh, apparently, was that the one? A, where... Is the uh, Captain Marvel sequel that also had uh, Miss Marvel from the TV show in it? 
There's a Captain Marvel and a Miss. Wait, Captain Marvel's Brie Larson. Yeah. Then there's Miss Marvel, who's completely different. Oh, why do they need two? Isn't there like a wizard named Marvel too that like turns the one guy? Oh, it's Shazam. Oh uh, yeah, oh, yeah, Shazam, of course. The yeah. Herald and the Purple Crayon, I think you mean. Um, <laughs> now that'll be that'll be the next movie on this podcast. Will be, you know, as a Herald and the Purple Crayon I, head. Honestly, I probably like it more than this. Did you see it? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that would be a it. sick heel turn for you to get way into. Get way into Herald just purple. Crayon. I kind of want to do like because you know now that I'm, this is a sort of a solo show, right? I can do whatever I want. Which means seeing yeah. uh, talking about an MCU movie, which is get, that's going to get engagement, that's going to get clicks, you know. Um, but it also means I can do the movies I like, like Inception, which I did, and it's a good movie. I know you you maybe disagree. Um, oh, I liked Inception. I don't, oh. I don't know if that's strong in opinion. I saw it when it came out, and I was a it's teenager. Pretty good. Was like, yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. It's- it's good, and I remember like it's memorable. Like I still remember a lot of the scenes, which isn't true of most movies in the past. Six years, I th- so. I think it's pretty good i think it's you know some people that we both know i think dislike it for they're they're watching it wrong and they're watching it through an uncharitable lens and i think (laughs) i think deadpool and wolverine is a movie that can easily be watched through that uncharitable lens yeah and and in some ways kind of i i get why it's it's understandable to kind of watch it through the like um, you know, this is for Marvel nerds and they can go fuck themselves. And like, I'm, I'm better than, you know, the clapping seals when they see their, their favorite X-Men I didn't say I was better than for them. two minutes. I didn't say I was better than them. I said, they made me lose my faith in being a human, I, which is arguably the same thing, <laughs> <laughs> but who I'm could speaking say? hypothetically. No. I'm not talking about you. Well, Roswell. here's the thing. It's like Roswell. Well, here's the thing is like you obviously enjoyed this to an extent and I don't think you're stupid. So like I, I, I'm aware that like you can like it, this sort of thing. It's I, it's also like the way someone enjoys something. Can True. Be yeah. I mean because like you know I think I mean? I'm trying to be an erudite as as much as one can be about fucking dead Sure. Things. And you're not being – um, you're not being uh, – what's the term? Uh, not presumptuous but like performative. Yeah. Uh, ah, you know what I'm Pretentious? saying. Pretentious? No pretentious you're not being pretentious about how you like this movie like it's some piece of art you're you're just saying you like it which is i liked it for what it was i thought it was fun sure yeah and that's fine i hated it for what it was and that's fine too and that's okay yeah yeah it's okay to have opinions (laughs) the world's ending yeah no but like i think some people i don't know sometimes i think people just aren't aren't willing to meet something where it is and like judge yeah no for sure whereas like this movie wasn't for you because you haven't seen any of the other Deadpool movies. You don't watch Marvel. You don't care about any of this shit. Exactly. And that's fine. I don't think it was trying to appeal well, to here's you. Here's the thing is like at all. There are some Marvel movies I like and I do like them for what they are. So it's like, you know, and this one I think is, like, is very not... context dependent. This one is absolutely yeah. living in the context in which <laughs> this is a <laughs> coconut filled movie for sure. <laughs> this is a coconut. Would you now coach, would you say that Deadpool is brat? Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a good question. That's a good question, and also it like makes me want to go on a tangent about that in general. Where I think I huge, <laughs> I was a huge brat. I was a brat head from day one. You Let were? the record show. I like listened to it the, the day it show. came out. I was like, it's it's a good album. You were brat pilled before you were coconut pilled. I which, was. You know, not a lot of people can say. Not that. Not a lot of people can say that. Um, I mean, it was a huge hit album. But aside from all yeah, aside, aside from, you know, everyone saying it's amazing, you know, I was I was there day one, too. I was also saying it was amazing on day one, along with the rest of them. me and Anthony Fantano. Same, same vibe, same vibe. You're the same uh, audience size, same haircut. just yeah. as influential, just as influential. Uh, uh, I, I yeah. do think it's been a little unfortunate, though, like and maybe this is I'm not trying to gatekeep. I don't like being a gatekeepy guy, but it feels sure weird and or bad how like mainstream brat has gotten like i mean it's a very memeable thing that was the point like i get it but like i don't know it's weird um well now it's like popular among like audiences it really has no being popular no business being popular among like you know like 
like fifty year old liberal, you know. Yeah, like people who have never seen. Yeah, who don't care about that music? They're just like, oh, she and yeah, exactly. They've never seen a gay person. No, this brat was for you know gay guys. Yep, women in their twenties who like to party, and like those straight guys who are really into like pop music specific pop yeah yeah Those it is a only pretty three fine types movie. of people that brat was for and it is broken sure. containment and now i'm like well you guys you don't, you don't get to enjoy this you have not even listened yeah. to carly ray jepson you don't even she she yeah, was work. why she did the legwork to get this where it is today exactly and you don't exactly. even appreciate, you're not even listening to emotion you're certainly not listening to emotion side b like i don't want to hear it yeah it's like going on it's like saying you're a communist because you post on the no work subreddit, but you haven't read any of the. You haven't you read. Yeah, you just don't want to fucking Come work. On. You don't. Exactly. Yeah. Which, fair. I mean, who does? Who does? But, yeah. 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 That's it's it's that's life. Um, that's life in the big city. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So I I think. It's tough because I'm like struggling to find more to say about it because there's you know, a lot in the say, movie, but some... it, and yet it's also it, like the action's bad. Yeah, it's very like that homogenous Marvel look, which I don't care about. I will say the uh, the um, there was uh, something that made me feel something, which is not true of many of the Marvel movies, which is the little uh, bald lady yeah. putting her fingers in people's heads like was like a cool effect. It was gross. It was like, oh, that's – like it gave me a reaction. I'm like, that's cool out of a movie. So they, they got that. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, I liked that the Pride and Prejudice guy was in it. <laughs> For no reason, you mean, uh, Tom from Succession. Mr. Darcy, <laughs> uh, I haven't seen like Succession. Oh, dude, you gotta you gotta watch Succession, man. I know everybody keeps telling me I should, but uh, what are you gonna do? I mean, watch it. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's really not that hard, but no, it is a time commitment. I like I because I don't watch anything anymore. Like I watch stuff for this show, and that's kind of yeah. it. Like I've only I just I watch watched movies. season three of The Bear, which is bad, by the way. Um, I watched Smiling Friends, which is good, by the way. See, I watched the first season of Smiling Friends, and I was like, "Yeah, this is kind of funny." Um, and then I was like, "It's fun." And I think it, it, the tide's starting to turn in the direction that I was feeling, you know, a couple years ago. But uh, I was like, "This feels like what this is going to set fertile fertile soil for like a future kind of Rick and Morty ish, but like Tumblrified." version of that kind of fandom of what it is yeah and yeah, uh sure. i, I and for, it, just kind of getting that vibe from it i was like i don't fucking like this <laughs> fair enough yeah I, I like it on its own but is i'm i haven't been connected at all to like the fan discussion of it so i haven't had time to be annoyed by it i just i just see but, people like the way and see this is the thing i think i was trying to touch on earlier that i was accusing other people of doing and not taking Mm-hmm. fair to things and i'm doing it right now where it's like i think i'm just upset with the people who like something rather than what the thing is you know yeah because it's like I, you know, people who like inception are annoying but the movie's fine people who are marvel can be fine sometimes but a lot of the marvel sure. fans are irritating um you know right. smiling friends is fine i think the fans are cringy you know same with those south park the people the girls they're i'm people who are into south yeah. park now they're like shipping the kids and stuff together. It's fucking weird. They're watching it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I mean, there used to be, I feel like it's, this is sort of a, like just the, this overarching problem of like, as everything sort of becomes Disneyified, it's like, we're losing genres. Everything is getting shifted into this homogenous tone. Like there's not really comedy movies no, in the yeah, way there not. used to be anymore. It's like Marvel are your comedy movies. And so it's like people don't know how to engage with like, okay, this is a comedy movie. So I'm just going to like, if it's a bad comedy movie, who cares if it's good? I laugh at it. Um, and so like, that's kind of the thing I feel with a lot of this stuff. Is it just, I don't know. It, it makes people forget how to engage with this media in certain ways. I just vamp for you. No, you're you good. You're that? good. Um, <laughs> I I think like the last comedy movie that I watched was, um, I mean, if you can even count it is fucking the fall guy, you know? And like, that's, it's kind of, it's kind I of, I didn't see it. It's, it's, it's the, uh, Ryan, that's Gosling Ryan Reynolds, and Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt vehicle. 
I think it's yeah. on some sort of streaming. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty t- good time. I mean, there there are like Barbie was ter- that was a comedy. Like we can all agree that was a comedy. Like it's not they're not completely gone, but it does feel like back in your day you used to have your genre pictures. Like like I don't know, like back in let's say two thousand five when we were young, it would be like okay, I'm gonna go see a horror movie. I'm gonna see a comedy movie. I'm gonna see an action, a thriller, a blah 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 blah. And so like you went in with the expectation of this is gonna be this type of vibe whereas i feel like certain things got swept up in you know the marvel craze yeah where it's like everything now is kind of an action movie or kind of a comedy it's like it's got some funny pieces in it you gotta have some action in it just to like keep people from falling asleep right yeah and it can't it can't be too in anything in one direction because you might alienate someone um right I, don't know, I feel like because I've been really vibing more with like foreign films recently because I feel like this is like a very American problem. And it's also like, a yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, for example, uh, Furiosa, right? The the Mad Max prequel, uh, Fury Road prequel. Um, mm. Pretty good. I thought it was great. Probably the best movie I've seen this year so far. Um and it's definitely like a thing and it's trying to do a thing and like also calling Furiosa a foreign film stupid, but I'm, and I don't mean to oh, call yeah, it because it's Australian. Because it's Australian. So like, you know, whatever. Um, I mean, technically it is foreign. Not wrong. <laughs> it's, you know, yeah. Safe. <laughs> um, but it's, it's um, like, it didn't do well in the box office and it's like people, it's like partially, you know, people's fault it's like whose fault is it right because it's like they're they're not making movies that are really trying anything crazy outside of like you know indie stuff or like you know kind of stuff that's off the beaten path a little bit um but if Mm -hmm. if there is like a big movie that comes out that is trying to do something that does have its own identity people aren't seeing it yeah and so it's like you know as much consumers are getting what they deserve and i think people just have bad taste (laughs) well it's also what's marketed to them I mean, I true, people, but also, this, I don't know, like, I think it's been slowly kind of pushed this way by, by market interests, which is, you know, that's just what's going to happen. But I mean, there are some standout examples where like, there'll be a weird film that like gets a lot of attention, you know, like long legs was a random like film that doesn't yeah, hor- like horror on. movies get that um, horror movies get it. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, Barbie kind of is the same thing. Like that was Barbie and Oppenheimer were both like that was weird that they were that big but it was nice it was even whatever you thought about either of those movies it was nice that it was just like that was the craze of the summer instead of a marvel flick yeah you know in the in the in the uh you know absence of power left behind by marvel that year because it wasn't a great year for them no yeah you know, had that, but now now they're back because uh, i think i hope not <laughs> i think i think ryan reynolds has a has a blank check to do whatever he wants Definitely, um, which, well, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, let him just like be in the movie as Deadpool, and then have it actually focus on somebody else, and he's just around and like kind of tones it down. I think that could be fine yeah. if he gets to like. He should his, be like a, a Cheshire Cat type character that pops in on everybody's. I mean, adventure. honestly, I feel like they could do like a Spider-Man movie or something where like he just kind of pops in as like a weird spiritual guide. Yeah. Giving Peter all the wrong advice. Yeah, and that just like... take. And they have funny interactions. Like that's yeah. Here's the thing: is like he he's I don't find him particularly interesting as a character because he's just like he's like Bugs Bunny, which is fine for a while. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't old. he doesn't carry a film by himself. No, but that's why he's fun with Wolverine because it's like oh what a fun contrast you know like this ultra serious Logan and this cartoon and that would be fun with like peter parker who's also kind of silly but he's also like very moral and principled and like wouldn't like deadpool for what he stands so it's like okay you could play you do interesting things with these characters but they'll almost always in my opinion do the least interesting thing and bore me for two <laughs> hours and make it not even worth the hot dog i got at concessions oh no a hot dog a at dog. the movie theater though it was fine i mean i'm not saying i just I, you know that's not what i would do yeah, I get popcorn. I usually get popcorn because I usually don't. I usually eat before or after, but I, I was starving, man. I had to have that dog. Got, to, got that dog I, in you. After I you needed that dog in me. me. Yeah, should have had like a chili dog or, or a chimichanga or something. That's what that's what Deadpool <laughs> loves is chimichangas. You could have really gotten into Does the he? the immersion of the of the film. I thought that was Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, you know, yeah. So yeah, he, Sonic the Hedgehog likes chili dogs. 
Deadpool likes chimichangas, which they what both start with C. Eat? So that's all I <laughs> picked up. But what does Shadow eat, Rick? That's a good question. Oof. Dude, I'm I'm hype. Just like matzah. <laughs> Jewish shadow. <laughs> Just dry Maya. <laughs> the gay no, I probably shouldn't do that in this no. political climate. <laughs> no. no, no. Oh yeah, dude. I'm so hyped for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie though. Three. There's another one coming out? Yeah, and this one's gonna basically just be the plot of Sonic Adventure 2, the game, which is gonna be great. Like we're gonna watch a little Sonic girl get murdered by that the rules. government. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> that actually does rule. As long as we get the city escape at the beginning with him snowboarding down San Francisco. Oh, we got we gotta get city escape. We gotta have city Maria escape. getting murdered. We gotta have there. Uh, live and learn. Rouge the Shadow's Bat. gotta be there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Played by who would she be played by? I guess she would be animated, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, but who would voice her? <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably a Latina baddie. You know what I mean? Yeah, like probably. Mendes, somebody like that. I won't name names, but I'm sure. Name a name. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to get in trouble. Name a name. I'm going to get in trouble. I don't want to name a name. Uh, Blink to me. <laughs> well, there. you know, I think I think there's, uh, you know, someone who's who's been in uh, Blade Runner or uh, Knives Out. You know, somebody like that oh. would be good. Ryan Gosling. Or, yeah, right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel it's it's yeah. been almost an hour. We can kind of bring this in for a while. I think we've we've discussed. We did, yeah. Deadpool what else can you say? Um, go yeah, see it, it if that sounds like a movie. If you like superheroes, like. you'll like it. Yeah. You know, if not, you don't, you don't need to see it. But you probably won't. Yeah. Channing Tatum was funny. You know. <laughs> Channing Tatum was funny. It was nice to see Wesley Snipes. Yeah. I thought they were going to make a joke about him evading taxes, but they didn't. Maybe they didn't. It was cut. That only Ryan, only Ryan um, knows. Only Ryan knows. What what would Ryan uh Ryan do? What Ryan would Ryan, Ryan do? Uh yeah. Roswell, do you have any plugs? Listen to Historica Esoterica if you want an incredibly different vibe <laughs> from this. Uh something a little more serious and at times <laughs> dour, but um interesting history. Uh, dark facts, evil secrets. Uh, my our friend Matt being insane. Another, Not me though. Another friend I'm of the normal. show. Um, another good friend of the show. You gotta have Matt on. We have had Matt on. <laughs> oh, I, I'm a big fan of the show. Yeah. Long time listener. <laughs> yeah, big big fan. Yeah. Uh, big fan of Richard Real. That's true. <laughs> Yep. Um, yeah, I don't have anything, but next That's week. All I got. Uh, oh, Detective Roswell on Twitter. Roswell spelled with one L because there isn't enough characters. Really? Yeah. Elon, how there's one character. Fucking character, right? character limit on X now. Come it on. sucks. Dude, yeah, no get bad. over it. Um, Elon. Yeah, next week I'll be probably doing another <laughs> solo episode. Uh, I don't know on what. If you hear this and you have ideas, uh, reach out to me in whatever way is most convenient. <laughs> and maybe I'll listen to them, but I probably will just do whatever I feel like it. So uh, you can email Rick at Kamala Harris at whitehouse.gov. Yes. Him all of your coconut related maybe we'll get questions. Kamala on the podcast. Who knows? That might be the way. Is there is there a coconut themed film? <laughs> uh, castaway. Castaway. We do Castaway. <laughs> That'd be a good, That's a coconut film. Film. Maybe for the election, I'll do Castaway. I don't know. Or I'll just talk about Survivor, just like the, all of it. <laughs> you should just now. I could do. I could a do a Survivor, like only cast. Survivor podcast. I could probably do that. I bet you could. It would be probably like it'd be like my historic esoterica. <laughs> You'd have at least three very dedicated listeners <laughs> like us. I, probably more than this, honestly. People, well, I, I don't know. Because, like, the people way I like I like Survivor is very not what most people like Survivor are these days. Um, and I don't, I haven't watched the show in a couple of seasons, so I'm kind of I'm off the wagon. But, yeah, uh, out of the loop. Well, yeah. it's just that people want it to be a sport. It's not a fucking sport, you know? Yeah, but it's just drama, right? That's well, it's when it was good. It's like they they they're able to tell a story by 
editing and like yeah it's drama but they're able to like craft sure. a story and a narrative with, with I see. The, the footage that they have and you know when they do a good job it's really interesting um and it's a lot more again it's still reality tv but it's kind of like a more elevated reality tv than a lot of other stuff but these days they just want it to be a nerd sport that where you lie to people you know uh, um, can i pitch you this I'm listening. Jeremy Fragrance on Survivor. To Jeremy Fragrance, would he would get voted out immediately, or he would get to the end and lose. Like that's the only options for him. But it'd be very, it'd be good. He'd definitely be super off-putting to all the women that were there. I mean, I don't, he would love hanging out in his tidy whities man. He does it anyway, so I think he'd be, he'd, he'd probably like he'd be suffer from a, a, a cocaine withdrawal. Um, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, this was uh, Bad Boy Cinema. Thank you for listening, yeah. and um, hopefully, uh, you you like you like the episode. You'll you'll listen next week, and you'll check out uh, Detective Roswell with uh, Historica Esoterica. Otherwise, take care, and uh, we'll you'll hear me next time. Good night and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>